Hi, I'm martial arts master Bill Fitzpatrick from BillFitzpatrick.com. I'm the founder of the nonprofit American Success Institute and as always honored to be one of your teachers on your wonderful life journey to warrior success. This is self-defense principle number six. Let's talk about your greatest victory. Well, you want to learn self-defense and you might have tuned in because you want to learn hand-to-hand combat. Yes, as we move forward, I'm going to teach you how to get out of wrist locks and how to get out of bear hugs. I'm going to teach you the many different ways to to pound your attacker into submission. I'm going to teach you how to punch. I'm going to teach you how to kick, how to gouge, how to hammer fist, knife hand. I'm going to teach you all of that. And this is all good stuff. I'm a man in my 60s. I can, well, I can still do all of this stuff. And you'll be able to do it also because this is about learning technique. However, it's very important, very important. If you think, geez, I'm turning into a martial arts program and all this guy is doing is talking. He's talking too much. Realize that physical confrontation is less than 30% of what self-defense instruction should be. The other 70% of self-defense is avoiding danger or, or talking or screaming your way out of a situation. Going hands-on, mano y mano, is your last resort. Your last resort. I'd like you to meditate on this. Think about this. Remember this. If, you're, if you aren't a woman or a child or an old guy like me, if you're someone who thinks, hey, <laughs> I'm a badass already, I want you to remember this. When two tigers fight, one is killed and the other is seriously injured. Stop and think about what really happens in a fight. When two tigers fight, one is killed, the other is is seriously injured. 2,500 years ago, Sun Tzu, who wrote The Art of War, wrote that the greatest generals achieve victory without ever fighting. When you fight, you get hurt. You might get seriously hurt. You might get arrested. Yeah, you get arrested. You, you might end up in jail. Then you have to waste how many days in court and pay a lawyer many thousands of dollars. Yeah, this can all sound like, hey, but I'm the victim here. This is all got to, this is, this is BS. But you see, you might over defend yourself, whatever that means. You might employ what a jury considers to be excessive force. How would you feel if some low life attacks you? You defend yourself, and in the process of defending yourself, you injure him. Or, well, what are we talking about here? We're talking about a low life. He could simply feign an injury and then sue you. Picture this. He ends up not getting pocket change from a threat, but getting two-thirds of thousands of dollars, maybe tens of thousands of dollars from a lawsuit against you. (laughs) <laughs> there he is in court smiling and shaking hands with his sleazebag lawyer who gets the other one-third of your money. Now you can understand the joke, a conservative is simply a liberal who's been mugged. The best self-defense technique is avoidance. It is non-physical confrontation. It's learning how to how to scream with eyes eyes bulging and with and with nostrils flaring in a firm, confident voice, telling the attacker what you want him to do, point and say, stay the blank away from me. Again, most thugs of Well, they've had a hard life, and they've probably 
almost definitely been on the receiving end of being hit and being kicked and being gouged and being bitten. They have felt pain. So in reality, most thugs don't want to engage you physically. So when you scream with confidence and with authority, the most likely outcome will be that the attacker will call you a crazy bitch and, and then move on to a softer target. Since, let's be frank, after you have taken this instruction and practice, there are going to be a lot softer targets, victims than you are. The thug will simply go and mug someone else. It's only when you have no other choice, no other alternative that you have to fight, then you fight full force, causing pain and saving yourself. If you are in a physical confrontation and there's no way out of it, then you got to fight with everything you got, regardless of the legal consequences. Do you want to be carried by six or do you want to be judged by twelve? You are a warrior. You don't pick the fights. You end them. Now here's what I'd like you to do for me as your teacher. I'd like you to subscribe to these videos and rate them highly. Add your positive comments. Tell others to watch these videos. Let's make these viral. Find a partner and watch and discuss the videos and then you got to practice. If you'd like, and I hope you will, allow me to inscribe one of my martial arts books for you. There's no charge for this. Just make a donation right here on YouTube. And then send your name and address to Bill at BillFitzPatrick.com. I'm martial arts master Bill Fitzpatrick, and I'll be back shortly with our next self-defense principle, self-defense principle number seven. How to face your most dangerous enemy. Hoorah! Rich and retired in 20 years or less, that's the goal at ASI. Let's go out and let's do it. Thank you for listening. For more information on Bill's work, the Action Principles, and the American Success Institute, please visit BillFitzPatrick.com.